For a Christian, worship is something that happens on a daily basis. This is true, of course. As individuals and in the family, we pray and sing to God. We read and meditate on God's Word and Scripture. We may regularly gather with others throughout the week to do these same things. Our life of service to others is a living, holy, God-pleasing sacrifice of worship. At the same time, there is something special and unique about the gathering of the church on the Lord's Day to commune at the Lord's table. The Apostle Paul calls this in the church. When you come together in the church, he says, there are certain expectations and certain regulations apply. This is something different from the rest of the week. And so it's fitting to mark that difference with a call to worship. The call to worship is simply an invitation to worship. This call signifies that we have been gathered by God as His people for a purpose and for worship. We don't just coincidentally happen to find ourselves here. We have been called by God. The call also reflects that this gathering is purposeful. We are called at this time and in this place for worship. We're doing something now that is central and essential to our identity as God's people. There are many scriptural calls to worship, most of which can be adapted or read verbatim from the Psalms. May your congregation be blessed as you respond to the invitation from God to exalt God's name together.